Hello, welcome back to campus. I'm your host Amen for this week's campus news report. Let's have a brief review of what happened before spring break. Hip Hop Collective performed for Musical Monday on March 11. Piano, electric violin, rap, and magic of hip music. If you like hip hop, you should check them out. The Research Park Career Fair was on March 12th. Internships, full time jobs. Have you discovered what you're looking for? Let's get back to the fair and see what you can get. Do you know how to perform CPR when in an emergency? The Illini Emergency Medical Services Program at Courtyard Cafe showed our very own on TV reporter how to perform CPR in a crisis. Rumble in the Prairie was held by DDR Illini on March 15. Members showed off their dance game skills at the food court stage. Detailed reports are coming soon. See how you can engage with our Illinois campus as Con TV reporters do. Each week, Con TV reporters make a special video program on a specific topic. What do you want to learn more about campus? See what Con TV has brought for you this week. On March 11th, the Hip Hop Collective had its Musical Monday performance at Korea Cafe in Nina Union. Collective members performed some of the new songs with new elements. This time, they added one Chinese traditional instrument, dizi, into hip hop collective music, making an intersection of traditional and pop cultures. It is creative cross time exchange. This group of people showed us that everything is possible in the field of music. At the last song performed, different instruments and singers with different styles went up to the stage and performed together. It was intensive but not chaotic. Let's have a taste on Musical Monday performed by Hip Hop Collective. Won't stop 
get a fit and entertain the masses like play the beat and move. I'm not saying I'm a pro, I'm below. Tell the tour what's staying for. But I gotta keep my heart and play it cool. Play the part of what I know I could be like I did this part before. Yeah, been it alone, I ain't slashed my connections. Spinning so hard, skinning back with perfections. Feel like I've been dwelling in hell. Sending my soul up to sell, people passing my heavy. Grinding it down to the traps of a sudden, they finding myself with the lack of reflection. Keeping my core and relying on stress, and they stopping now. How about that? Any depression? On March 12th, the research park held its career fair facing all majors and all year students. The I Hotel was crowded by students wearing suits, eagerly looking for their opportunities. Recruiters including Caterpillar, Bayer, iJet Lab, and John Deere attended the fair and provided students with tons of internship, full-time, and part-time opportunities. New technology trend was also shown by employers to attract more talented students. While waiting in the line, students took notes for what interested them most. With a well-designed resume, students came up with different ideas to present their abilities. The research park is the nearest technology hub, provided students with on-campus working experiences. If you miss the fair, don't worry. You can go to the researchpark.illinois.edu/careers to get information about what position available. On Tuesday, March 12th, the United Union Board held its event called Paint and Sip. The instructor showed the way to paint the sample with a live camera, and the participants followed the instructor to create a beautiful waterfall. Tasty refreshments and all the painting materials were provided by the event holders. All the participants needed to do was to enjoy the process and had a great painting in the end. Brushes on your table as well, and we'll get to that. Go ahead and keep laying it down. Um, all the way to the bottom, and then we'll start adding some details once we get this all done. <coughs> also, while laying this down, I would just keep going with the horizontal marks rather than like going up and down. I'm not going all the way to the edges because eventually we're going to kind of make this cave-like edge so we don't have to worry about bringing it all the way out, but mostly all the way out. Yes, just tell me to do this. Other colors 
years, so kind of towards the mid, like the middle to right, just like having some like splashes of green. You can even like kind of, I don't know, wave it out a little bit. Yeah, I'm using the same brush. Um, if you'd like to layer some more blue on top as well, that would look good. But just have some fun with the marks. Don't worry too much about um, smoothing it out. It looks good too if it's got like kind of a thick mark as well. At Koya Cafe, March 12th, the United Emergency Medical Services program taught people how to apply CPR in case an emergency happens. By joining IEMS, you can get certified in CPR or as an EMT through one of their courses. Also, they are responsible for responding to medical emergencies at football games, baseball games, granite performances, and other campus events. If you are interested, you can visit the website at www.fsi.illinois.edu slash IEMS. responses and like they need help. And so then you want to initiate compressions by uh, going about like two inches deep. Um, and so you just make a fist like this and then you'd use the heel of your hand right on the breastbone in between the nipples and you would just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and you would just keep doing that until somebody came. Um, and you want to make sure that you're doing it at a pace of about 100 to 120 beats per minute, which is the same as uh, two per second. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's about the same as like the beat of stay alive. So a lot of people like to hum that in their head. Um, and you want to make sure that your arms stay in a locked position. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you want to give it a shot? Yes. Yeah. All right. Take it from the top. So you want to check to see if they're responsive first. Yes. Yeah. Are you okay? Like this? Yeah. Yeah. Then I'll check the palm. Yeah. And you want to check the breathing at the same time. Oh, okay. it's not breathing. All right. And so now you want to tell somebody to call 911. Can you call 911? Alright, 911, there's an emergency. And then while I'm doing that, you would start the practice. Okay, so I will do it like this. Oh, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's very tiring. So that's why we want to make sure that like a ton of people get trained. Because if you have multiple people in the same restaurant when somebody collapses and they need CPR, then you can rotate out so that people can take breaks and it's not just one person until um, 91 arrives. This deep Yeah, so it, you want to make sure that it's about like two inches, like two to two and a half inches deep. Um, these are our older men. Last Wednesday, the Illinois student government had its general meeting at Pi Lounge in Nina Union, making sure that every student's voice can be heard. ISG serves as a key facilitator, valuing the voices and perspectives from students. Each member of the Illinois student government plays a major part in a complex system where students join faculty and staff in leading our university. The general meeting on Wednesday at 7 p.m. is open to the public. For more information, please visit the ISG website. This resolution is not a resolution that is meant to censor anyone's free speech or to discourage people from criticism of the state of Israel. It is purely and simply about anti-Semitism. I want you to hear this point. I have said it many times before, and I will say it again. Criticism of Israel is not anti-Semitic. Of course, there are some boundaries that must be drawn about what is acceptable rhetoric to use in this conversation. But those boundaries are very simple. The elimination of the kind of rhetoric that I'm referring to does not in any way stifle free speech. It only
protects Jewish students. The first week this conversation began, and therefore respected the request to take more time to consider this serious matter. Perhaps you know that the resolution has spent two weeks in the Committee on Diversity and Inclusion, and think that that was the starting point on this conversation, and therefore also agree to take more time to consider this important matter. The conversation on combating anti-Semitism on this campus did not start last week at Senate, last week at Committee, or two weeks ago in Committee. For me, like so many Jewish students on campus today, the conversation on anti-Semitism began weeks into our freshman years. In my case, I found myself connected to local police and law enforcement because of all my harassment because of my Jewish faith. While that particular instance of harassment was not caused by another student here, I learned nonetheless right from that day that the Jewish community on this campus had an already established relationship with local law enforcement. Anti-Semitism on this campus is not new. It was not new then, and it is finally uh, For his service to the judiciary. Judiciary, so on behalf of the judiciary, uh, thank you, Adam, for your service to the student government. You've been absolutely uh, critical over the last um, year and a half since we were both uh, appointed on the same day, in fact, uh, in helping the judiciary operate, so I'd really like to thank you for that. And also, just on, on behalf of myself and my own personal capacity, thank you uh, for being a confidant uh, and a friend, and so uh, you, will, you will be missed, so I wish you the best in your academic endeavors as you finish off your senior year and then also on to law school, uh, we hope. So good luck. Um, also with that, um, we had a, a, a clerk announce her re resignation. Peggy Kern uh, announced that she will resign at the end of the year and will not be coming back in the fall. Um, we'll likely wait to open applications for a clerk of the judiciary until the fall because she will be finishing the rest of the semester and also uh, appointing someone late on in the, in the year uh, creates the probability that they don't come back in the fall uh, when it comes to being a clerk position. Uh, also on the deputy chief justice vacancy, uh, that will also likely be filled next assembly when the judiciary has elections. On Thursday, March 14, United Union Board organized crafts and snacks at Korea Cafe. Free Oreos and cakes were served as a snack part this time and participants could do origami using the materials provided. This semester, IUB will organize three more crafts and snacks activities. The most recent one will be on March 28th. The topic will be painting and pizza. Hopefully, we can see you there. <laughs> yep, that's that year's the ad. Feel fresh to start your brand new week after the break, here's what's coming up next. Today at 7 p.m. at UGL, UIUC Stress Management Repairs is holding Mindful Monday. Spring Jam is coming soon. Get more information on performing by attending Reveal Party this Thursday at 1 p.m. in Courtyard Cafe. Free food will be provided. International Student Career Meetup is this Friday at 4 p.m. at the Career Center at Illinois. Hear about UFI, alumni, and current students' experiences. Check out more event information on Con TV's Facebook page. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any fun ideas or want to be part of Con TV, please email us at contv2019 at gmail.com. I'm your host, Eamon. See you next week.